five epic things for van life under $50. No. Five really cool things for van life under $50. No. That's a amazing. Five amazing van life. Five amazing van life hacks for under $50. Five really useful things for van life under $50. All right, instead of doing some big, slow countdown and making you watch the whole video, we're gonna hit you with the goods right away, and then we're gonna explain a little about them. So, stay tuned for the whole video, but if you want the goods, we got them in the beginning. Number one, a toaster. Yeah, the toaster's in here. Number two, a towel. Number three, a media center. Number four, we love so much, Two, collapsible buckets. Number five, save the best for last, a full bathroom suite. Comes apart, collapses. Team, what's happening? We have our GSI toaster. We're gonna show it to you in action. First of all, we love this Eureka stove. Uh, we can do a whole review on this. Last minute purchase for us at REI, absolutely love it. Onto the toaster. now. Easy enough to think, well, we're gonna toast something, we we'll just throw it on here. That takes exponentially longer. Unless you have the GSI toaster folds up, very small, very compact, and the toaster works because of science, um, and it ends up toasting a lot faster, so you unfold it. Now you have this nice tray, create some space between the burner and the, uh, carbohydrates that you want to toast. So you would place that on there. We fire up the grill. Easy push button start. You can see we're rolling and we're toasting. Now this toasts very quickly, probably in the amount of time that I'm just talking right now. And then when I go over to flip it, there's going to be some type of burn mark on the bagel. The only drawback is it's not like a full toast through. So you kind of got to set it really low and then toast a little bit on one side and a little bit on the other side. You don't want it too high. Another benefit of having the Eureka stove for this is it's real easy to adjust the temperature. As you can see, that was about 30 seconds and we got lightly toasted on the top. So what I like to do, about 30 seconds on each side and just continue to flip and switch. And you got your toasted bagel, bread, whatever you would like. Highly recommend the GSI toaster. All right, our media center, we absolutely love. This was a tip from a friend right before we left. Basically, these two hinges hook on the back of the seat, and then this extends out, and it can hold an iPad, tablet, or a phone, and then it puts it in the center of the car for the kids to watch a movie in the back. So, yeah, it's a cheap way of not getting TVs installed on the headrest. In-ride, in-flight entertainment system. As you can see, we have the iPad hooked in here. These are adjustable, so you can hook a phone in if you want. But basically, this just lets our kids relax, watch a show. Hey, we're not the most proud of that as parents, but that's okay, we all do it, while we knock out a three or four hour drive. So, we can put something on that they agree on. This is the easy hook into the headrest, and then slides out a little bit. You can see it's leaning a little damaged in battle over here, but hey, it still works. We're not putting this product on for the quality of it. We're putting it on just for the purpose, all right? Kids sit here, and then we block out the windows, and then they have a nice little show as they drive down the road. It's easy to adjust, take in, and take out. So this just slides back in, and then these collapse back down. So if you have kids, this is a must for a van life purchase. Change of scenery due to technical difficulties. Next up. Towels. We have two. One is more superior than the other for washing, for bathing. So we have this owl towel. We have a couple of these and we love them. They're quick drying, super small, can roll up. We can store all of them in one of our drawers. Great, we're taking it to the beach, things like that. But for bathing, they always come up short because they don't absorb well and they're just not comfy. So the closest that I have found to your home shower towel is this bad boy. And it honestly feels similar to what you would have at home. It is a waffle material, so I think that's why it absorbs as well as it does. But getting out of the shower, 
and putting this on is far superior than the other towels that we have tried in the past. Collapsible buckets. We love them so much. We have two. Just kidding, we thought we lost one, so we bought another and now we have two. But it works out because we have two kids. We love these buckets because they are so versatile. They collapse easily. <clears throat> the kids can use them to collect firewood, play at the beach, put sand in, wash our feet off in, whatever we want. They collapse into almost nothing. We had a harder shell one, an orange one, that collapsed into itself, ended up cracking pretty easily. So these soft ones we really like because they seem to be fairly indestructible. We'll leave a link below. Best part about it is not one, but two handles. Next up, we have our bathroom. We use a dry flush toilet, which you can see in another video, but this for us is a must have. So I have used several travel potties in my day of potty training children, and this one is by far my favorite. I love it because it's very compact. I love it because you could take it apart and give it good, a good cleaning. Uh, so, And then finally, there is the silicone insert, which also comes out, but you just push it down, you sit on the potty for quick roadside emergencies, middle of the night emergencies. This is our go-to. 